Being able to vote means that you get your say in how decisions are made in the East Riding, nationally and within Europe. You will only be able to vote if you are included on the electoral register. In the East Riding, there are over 267,000 people included on the electoral register. To be included on the register, you will need to complete a registration form. This is available from the Council's website or a customer service centre or by contacting Electoral Services Direct. Some people think that by filling in a council tax form, this includes applying to be on the electoral register. It doesn't. You will need to complete a separate form. There are two types of electoral register, the full and the edited versions. The full register is what is used for running elections and by credit agencies. The edited version is the one that can be bought by companies to use for marketing. You can choose not to appear in the edited register if you don't want. Each year between August and October, a canvas is undertaken and a canvas form is delivered to every house in the East Riding. It is a legal requirement to complete and return this form. This is used to update the electoral register. A canvasser may come and knock at your door to assist you completing the form if it has not been returned. There are different types of elections held. Parish and Town Council elections, elections to East Riding of Yorkshire Council and parliamentary and European elections. Some of these elections can be called at very short notice which is why it is important that you make sure you are registered. You can apply to have a postal or proxy vote at any time. If you apply for a postal vote, when an election is called, your postal vote will be sent to you. Whereas if you apply for a proxy vote, someone else will be able to go to a polling station and vote on your behalf. Polling stations are open from 7am until 10pm. You will only be able to vote in person at a specified polling station. For most elections, you will receive a polling card telling you where this is. During parliamentary and European elections, a list of polling stations is available to download from the Council's website. When you enter a polling station, you will be given a ballot paper and directed to a polling booth. The ballot paper will tell you who is standing for election and how many candidates you can vote for. In some elections, you may be able to vote for one candidate only, while in other elections, you may be able to vote for two or three candidates. You then place a cross in the box adjacent to the name of your candidate or candidates and place your ballot paper in the ballot box.
The results of elections are displayed on the Council's website or on a Town and Parish Council Notice Board. Electoral Services can be contacted by email at electoral.services at eastriding.gov.uk